Right, I tell you, dear champs, and today we're going to have a look at a Z or Z590 motherboard, and this one's from Azus. It's the Tough Gaming Z or Z590 Plus Wi Fi. Now, this one does have the Wi Fi, they may have versions without Wi Fi. And let me tell you something right now you do not have to buy anything better than this motherboard if you're going to go to Z or Z59. I'm just going to say Z because I'm used to Z. So that's the truth, right? You do not have to buy a better motherboard than this. In actual fact, the three entries that Asus will have into the sort of entry level to sort of mid-spec Z590 motherboards, which will probably be this, the Tough, the Prime and the Strix, they will be the best entry level to mid level sort of motherboards without question. I buy these myself. I actually usually buy the Strix version, sometimes the Prime. And if you're gaming, you do not need anything more than this, okay? Now, even Asus have higher end motherboards. Like if you want extra features like DIM.2 slot, maybe 10 gig networking or more M.2 or just more bells and whistles. Yes, you go up to the Maximus Extreme and all those sort of, you know, high-end motherboards that can cost double Ds, but in terms of just pure gaming, if you just want the best gaming performance, you don't have to buy anything more than these, okay? These motherboards will overclock the CPU to the maximum amount it can do. I actually can't share you data off this motherboard because it is press embargoed, so there is an NDA until the 11th gen CPUs come out. But what I can tell you with this motherboard is the CPU is going to buckle before the motherboard does, and I can get the maximum overclock out of that CPU. And I have done this with my previous generation motherboard. I used to have a Z390 Strix motherboard, and I had the highest end Zeus motherboard. I think it was Extreme Rampage. I don't know, something like that. I ended up selling that to my mate who does custom PCs because he wanted more of the bells and whistles. It didn't overclock any faster than the base model Strix. I just want a game, right? Those bells and whistles meant nothing to me. And this is where you want to be if you're a gamer. You just get the tough Prime or Strix Asus motherboards and you're ready to go. You're ready to rock. So let's talk about this one in particular. This is the tough version. It is the Wi-Fi version as well. What you get on this motherboard is three M.2 slots. Awesome. We have three pre-CI Express slots. Now with these M.2 slots, only one is full-time 4.0. The others are 3.0. Of course, this is a Z590 chipset. So it will support the latest, you know, Intel CPU, so 11900K, etc. And of course, the temp generation as well. We have four PCI Express slots. Only one of them is 4.0. That's the main one. That that's the one that has the shield around it, the reinforcement on the PCI Express slot. Two of them by 16. The second one being by four. And then we have two one-time sort of PCI Express slots there as well. So if you are a miner, you probably won't want this. Let's not talk about miners. They're bad people. We also have four RAM slots. And it can actually do up to 5,133 megahertz memory overclock. Six times SATA. Two addressable RGBs, of course, they work with Aura Sync as well, so you can use the ASUS software. And two just RGB headers, clear CMOS button, Thunderbolt header, and there's also a USB Type-C connection on the motherboard as well. There also is a USB 3.2 supports USB Type-C header on the motherboard also. And there's also another 3.2 Gen 1 and two USB 2.0 headers as well, which support up to another four USB 2.0 ports. On the back I.O. we have two USB 2.0s, HDMI, HDMI and a display port, two USB 3.2 Gen 1s. Actually, just look on the screen, you'll be able to see all the specs there. Some notable things there is, yes, we do have USB-C on the back. We have 2.5G internet, so 2.5 gig networking. And we also have Wi-Fi 6, 8 channel audio as well. And it uses the Realtek S1200A, so Japanese capacitors. Now this VRM, I can tell you now, it's not going to buckle. As I said before, the CPU is going to buckle before the VRM. You have no worries about the VRM. You're going to be able to overclock this motherboard to the maximum potential of your CPU. I mean, if you want to do extreme overclocking, yeah, get the extreme and the Rampage and the, you know, the good exhaust motherboards where you might be wanted to do LM2 and stuff like that. But if you're just a gamer, this is the motherboard to get. I personally would get the Strix version rather than the Tough. And Wi-Fi 6 is no joke. Less congestion, it's going to be better, faster transfer, less latency. Wi-Fi 6 is no joke. So future proof. And in actual fact, if you have a Wi-Fi 6E router as well, 
so wireless router in your house you don't have to use the cable the 2.5g sort of networking you could just use the wi-fi and the ping and gaming speed will be exactly the same as wired so everything checks out on this motherboard i can definitely highly recommend it if i can't get the strix or the prime because i'm going to get one of these motherboards for myself i would definitely go to tough and i like that it has that thunderbolt header as well and everything's good like the heatsink for the m.2s works well the vrm heatsink works well it's not noisy or anything like that not that i can hear it. i think there is a fan under that tough sort of gaming sort of heatsink there for the chipset but what you do get with tough is all these areas on the motherboard where you can you know measure the temperatures you know if you want 24 7 this is the way the tough is the way to go this motherboard is cool now it may cost a little bit more than the competitors but you get better resale value in my opinion these are the best and that's why i buy them and i don't buy the extreme unless i'm doing like a workstation sort of thing where i need the bells and whistles like 10 gig networking and stuff like that i will always get just the entry level strix prime or tough in this case so everything you want pci express 4 wi-fi 6e thunderbolt header overclock to the snot and that is the way you want to fly I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.